Welcome to Rice and Recipes. Today I'll be making chickpeas curry with coconut milk. So this recipe has a very rich flavor of coconut and it tastes awesome and this recipe requires very less ingredients. Let's check on the ingredients. So here I have 2 cups of uh, chickpeas, dried chickpeas which I have soaked overnight. And I have 2 tomatoes finely chopped. I have around 1 inch of ginger finely chopped, 2 bay leaves, cinnamon, elaichi, cloves and kasuri methi chili powder dhania jeera powder garam masala i have coconut milk i am using the canned one you can also use the fresh coconut uh, you can take out the milk and use it so let's start making the curry here i'm going to add around quarter cup of uh, coconut oil and since it is a uh, made with coconut milk so I am using coconut oil it is optional I am adding mustard seeds jeera elaichi cloves cinnamon bay leaf saute them I'm adding the ginger and then going to saute for a few minutes now I'm going to add the chopped tomatoes and cook them until they are nicely soft my tomatoes are nicely cooked so at this point I am adding the dhania jeera powder, chilli powder and cook the masalas for few minutes. Now I am going to add uh, the soaked chickpeas. Mix it, add water accordingly. I'm adding half tablespoon of salt, turmeric, and then I'm going to pressure cook the curry for around four to five whistles until the chana is nicely cooked and mashed. So now uh, you can see the masala and the chana is nicely cooked. So let's check. When you press the chickpeas, it should be soft and uh, mashed. Yeah, this is the right uh, consistency. So now I'm going to turn on the stove and add the coconut milk. I'm going to add little bit of water here. You can add uh, accordingly, like if. Uh, However, however you want, if you want it thick, you don't have to add. I like a little thinner side. Because once the coconut milk is cooked, it's going to, the curry is going to get uh, thicker. So I'm going to cook for a few minutes, uh, 5 to 6 minutes. I'm adding kasuri methi. The curry is been cooking for around 10 minutes now. I'm adding the ram masala and give it a nice mix. You can see the consistency. It's not too thin. So now the curry is done. Let's plate it. 
turn off the stove and then plate it. I can smell the coconut flavors. It's really good. It goes really good with puri or chapati or rotis and it's very easy to make. Please do give it a try. You can see the color. It's so good. I'm serving with puris today. Thank you for watching.